So I've been told that I lean too much on my own understanding, that I look too much to the Hebrew or to the Greek. I'm reading too much into it. I'm thinking things through. I'm overthinking. Uh, I've got to I've got to rely on the spirit. And, 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 and maybe that might be true. Now, what I'm looking at looks like just absolute pure mockery. So I'm going to ask you guys who think that way, who feel like that I'm just doing a wrong, who feel like I'm just doing a disservice to the body. Could you please help me out? Could you please, if you could, defend what I want to show you? Defend this. What about that is biblical? What about that is of God? I, again, I could be wrong, so just help me out. And now, even here, we've got a pool party at church. Tell me where I'm wrong. Help me. Help me understand this. Or is this just complete mockery? I don't know. And you've got women going in there, and their their tops are going to run get wet. And this is supposed to be some sort of I don't know reenactment of maybe the pool of Bethesda. I don't I don't know what this is. But I'm going to need someone, if you could please, to just simply do your very best to defend this, please. Now, the Bible does tell us that the time is going to come when these folks are going to have to give an account. And he says, what does the Bible say? It says that, uh, do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever, whoever, whatever person sows, this person will also reap. So if you want to mock, if this is what you want to sow, well, then that's what you're going to reap. But there's still more because I could be wrong. Maybe they're not mocking God, but help me. Yeah, that, that looks like a whole lot of the spirit. Yeah, I know it's gross. I know it's gross, but who cares if it's gross? It's the spirit. It's the move of the spirit, so it can't be gross. That's that's the move of God, right? So tell me how I'm supposed to uh, magnify the Lord with that. You, you tell me. However, I think this is an apple warning. The Bible says this. This is Jude 18 that they were saying to you in the last time there will be mockers following after their own ungodly lust. These are the ones who cause divisions, worldly minded, devoid of the spirit. So no, you can't defend this. This is These are people that don't have the spirit of God. Maybe they're looking for it. Maybe they don't understand the Bible. Maybe they don't understand God. Maybe they think it's all about them and their feelings and they're, they're willing to do even disgusting things. I mean, literally disgusting things. If 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 your if your stomach didn't kind of just cringe a little bit or churn a little bit because of what we just saw, then it makes me wonder what's happening with you. If you don't have any sort of disgust, if you don't shake your head, if you're not bothered by this, it just makes me wonder. And those who would defend it, help me understand. And well, Corey, that's not the majority of us who believe like that. Yeah, but you cozy up to it. And I've seen some of this in virtually almost every charismatic church, maybe not there, but folks that go to those churches end up going uh, to other places or visiting other places or befriending other people like this, inviting some of these same people that produce these shenanigans. So please help us who don't understand. Help us to see what you see. Do your very best by the scriptures to defend this. Mm -hmm.